Hey guys, so for today's video I have a haul and I'm really excited for this one in particular because it's an all drugstore haul. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some new releases from the drugstore, specifically from Maybelline. I'm really excited to share this video. Maybelline is sponsoring this video. I'm super blessed and really thankful to have the opportunity to even work with Maybelline and it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you so much. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a bunch of their new releases. They have come out with so many good products that I cannot wait to try. I can definitely do like a full face first impressions using these products if you guys are interested, but for today I figured we'll just do like a little bit of a sit down, chit chat kind of haul for you guys. But the first thing I want to get into and talk about is their new foundation. This is their new Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face, which I'm about the fresh face. Like lately I've really been liking just a super natural fresh kind of a little bit dewy face so I'm happy that it says that liquid foundation on the go so this is a cushion foundation and I've been really into cushion products um, for the past I would say two months or so so I'm excited to see how Maybelline has kind of come up with their version of a cushion foundation this one is in the shade 40 when I was at the drugstore I saw this shade and it seemed pretty good um, it might kind of match me more when my tan is a little bit faded so almost kind of like how it is right now oh maybe not so I'm kind of looking at it now and it looks pretty good so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a swatch oh yeah that's really pretty so this is kind of more of a neutral uh, shade not too warm not too pink which I can kind of pull off neutral shades so I'm okay with it typically I do like something a little bit warmer but here is how that shade looks pretty good so they also came up with these really cool dream illuminator kind of stick this is the shade fair which I'll probably use the most because you guys know I like a super bright highlighted under eye then they have the shade light and they also came out with the shade light medium which is really nice just more of a natural highlight if I ever want but these look really cool I'm actually gonna swatch it to see kind of like the texture so this one is the shade light okay so light definitely has a pink undertone you guys know I like more of the yellow really smooth and like almost kind of has like a powder finish so that might be nice so this is the shade light medium yeah so that has a pretty yellow undertone and then we have the shade fair this is really nice yeah it almost kind of feels like um like a, um a cream to powder kind of finish which is really nice so next we have the brow precise creamy brow highlighter I typically don't really use brow highlighters but I know they're really nice if you kind of want to lift the brow I just get really lazy but what I think this will be awesome for is also priming the eyelid I love using kind of like a stick form um, eyelid primer lately I've just been using concealer because it's like so easy so this is kind of similar to having like a concealer in your hand it's just so much easier than a pot even though I love my Mac soft ochre paint pot I feel like just having it in a tube stick is so much easier just to apply to the lids and kind of blend out super quickly so I'm excited for this this one is in the shade light so the next product I'm so excited to share with you guys these are their new master strobing liquids like hello so lately I've been loving liquid highlighters just to pop on underneath my foundation and put it on the high points of my cheeks down the nose everywhere I like to highlight and then I will put foundation on top and it's almost like you're doing like a double highlighting because you just have that natural glow from underneath your foundation kind of glowing from within look and then you can just top it off with some powder highlight I love it you can also mix it in with your foundation there's just the possibilities are endless I've really been liking liquid kind of cream products lately you guys know me I'm all about my powders but lately it's like cream bronzers, cream highlights, liquid highlights, liquid bronzers. I'm just, I'm loving the liquids. So this is the Maybelline Strobing Light. So they have three different shades. How beautiful is that? So this is in the shade 100. So gorgeous. So here is 200 Nude Glow. So pretty. So next we have the shade 300 deep slash gold what's funny is these shades would work so well just all kind of mixed in together even or even this third shade with the first shade so pretty so more with some face products maybelline came out with these new camo master camo color correcting kits i'm so excited for these not so much because i love to color correct because you guys know i get kind of lazy i mean it, it, there's times where i need it so i will but most of the times I'm too lazy to color correct. But the main reason why I love these is because this shade right here is perfect to highlight with. I can't get enough of a bright highlight. Oh, it also comes with an illuminating highlighting shade, which is so cool. Most of these palettes are just like all flat shades. So it comes with this. Oh, that's really nice. See, something like this. Look how gorgeous that is and like glossy. 
Something like that, I would pop right underneath the foundation, right on the tops of the cheeks and the, above the brow, and it just kind of glows from within. So this is the shade Medium. Even this yellow shade looks really good. I know that they also have the shade Deep, which I'm so excited to try that shade out too because it comes with a deeper kind of contour shade. And again, I've really been into cream contouring and cream bronzing, so I'm excited to pick up the dark shade as well. So Maybelline came out with the new Master Blush Palette. This is how it looks. How pretty does it look? So this is the color and highlighting kit. So I guess it also has a highlighter in it, which is really nice. You guys already know which shade is calling my name. I mean, how predictable and basic am I sometimes? So this shade right here, I mean, you guys are, oh, it matches my nail color almost. So pretty. That color is like the prettiest pinky apricot shade, which I've really been into. So I'm curious to swatch this highlight. Oh, yes. So the texture feels almost similar to the Bobbi Brown or NARS highlights. Really nice. So here's how it looks. Really pretty, kind of like a champagne. And here's how it is swatched. So it kind of just gives you like a, wow, that's really pretty. Also, here are some swatches of these two shades. Super pretty if you're into really colorful pops of color on the cheeks. You could even use these as eyeshadows too, and that's really nice. So since we're talking about palettes, I want to show you guys the 24 karat nudes palette that they just came out with. They do have a bunch of these. I believe it's called um, blushing nudes, um, just the regular the nudes, and then I think the rock or something like that. So they now came out with the 24 karat gold one, which I think looks really pretty. It kind of has this like desert vibe. So that is the gold shade right there. And then this one is this kind of taupey shade. That's a really beautiful kind of like deep bronzy gold. So next product I want to show you guys, I'm so excited to share because you guys know I have fallen in love with this mascara. I actually recently tried it out in the full face first impressions that I did. Um, not in my most recent one, but the one before that. I love this mascara. I have it in my the back of my makeup drawer back there. So nice. I'm actually wearing it today underneath the Coco Queen B lashes. This one's just new in a box, but like I said, I have the other one in my um, kind of everyday makeup drawer. I have been obsessed with it. It gives you, okay, you know how these Coco Queen B lashes are like super lengthy and like wispy and fluffy? This mascara gives you that, but in a mascara. Like, you know what I mean? If you don't want to wear falsies, but you want your natural lashes to look fluffy and wispy, this gives it that. You guys know my number one, like favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore mascara that I always recommend to you guys is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, the pink tube. The Lash Sensational gives you more of like a fan lash, like super fanned, volumized, and lengthened. Whereas this one gives you a super wispy, like fluffy lash. You know what I mean? I don't know, I feel like it's weird, but this mascara is Coco Queen Bee Lashes in a mascara. So now we're moving on to lip products, which I know most of you guys are excited for because I mean, you guys are like me, you love lip products. So Maybelline came out with six new um, creamy matte lipsticks. One of my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore ever are the creamy matte formulas. They're amazing, guys. They're so smooth on the lips. They last pretty long for being like a creamy formula. They have, they're definitely matte, but they have this creamy finish. So that's why they're called the creamy mattes because you can't really call them fully matte since they're not dry. Typically matte has like that stereotype of being very dry. And then um, they're not super creamy in the way where they're gonna like disappear after half an hour. They're the perfect creamy matte lipstick. <laughs> so I love them. Um, I actually have a couple in my lipstick drawer, but they came out with some new shades. You guys, this one shade right here, it's been catching my eye. This is the shade 530 Hot Sand. You guys, it's been catching my eye because look at how gorgeous this is. Lately, I've really been loving a nice flesh tone, pale, peachy, warm nude. So this is the shade Hot Sand. Oh my God, how beautiful is that? You guys, this is so, oh my God, it, I almost just wanna like pop it on right now. This is so beautiful. And I don't know if you guys could just tell by this watch, most of you guys have tried this formula of lipstick because it's that popular. Everyone loves this formula. It's really good. But if you haven't tried it, go to the drugstore right now or go to altabeauty.com right now and place an order because I'm telling you, like I, it's so smooth and glides on so nicely. It has a matte finish, but just like not as dry of a formula and it's not going to cling to dry patches it's just honestly i love these so the next shade i want to show you guys is purely nude which is 535 so it looks like 
to be a little bit of a darker version of what we just swatched um and just maybe oh no it's actually paler but it's just pinkier that's so nice too so next we have the shade 540 peach buff and honestly they had me at peach you had me a peach peaches are so in and uh, maybelline definitely stays on top of trends so they're really giving us some affordable peachy kind of nude lips so here is peach buff so gorgeous i feel like you can mix these two i'm a huge mixer so this to me is definitely a apricot pinky so next we have the shade 550 honey pink and this looks like it's going to be really popular because it's a beautiful kind of warm pinky shade a lot of people love this color because it's just super wearable. It's a nice pink that isn't too out there and bold. It's a nice wearable kind of warm pink. I typically don't go for colors like this, but I know a lot of people do. It's just more wearable of a pink. So next we have the shade 575 Brown Blush. This shade is definitely going to be super popular. Such a gorgeous kind of mauve shade. It has a little bit of a blushy berry tone to it too, which is really nice especially end of fall transitioning into spring so next we have 560 raw chocolate i'm excited for this because this looks like a really gorgeous oh yes like a mocha chocolate shade so pretty again this is perfect for fall transitioning into spring so more for lip products maybelline came out with a bunch of lip liners so the first one we have here is just a clear lip liner that's going to prevent your lipstick from bleeding without the color so you're not going to have to worry about like perfecting that line so that's really good so these are the maybelline color sensational shaping lip liners and this one is in the shade 105 nude whisper it looks like a really pretty nude oh yes i will love this shade so nice and they're really creamy as well, which I like. This one is in the shade 110 Purely Nude. So here's how, oh, this is really nice. It's kind of definitely a peach apricot nude, which I feel like is super popular right now. Then there's the shade 125 Magnetic Mauve. So this is obviously a mauve shade. Really pretty. So it's definitely more of a red-based brick brown mauve. And it kind of has a little bit of that berry tone. Next, we have the shade 130 Dusty Rose. So this is more of your kind of rosy nude mauve, something a little bit paler than the previous one. This is really pretty. Then you have the shade 135 Palest Pink. I would describe this more of a mid-tone kind of bright pink. So this shade is perfect for all of your deeper lip colors. This is 165 Plum Passion. I'm hoping this is yes. I was saying I hope it's purple based and it definitely is. It's like a very deep violet. So of course they had to include a red. This is 145 Very Cherry. I never used to be into red lipsticks or wearing any sort of red lip product, but lately, oh my God, this is a very beautiful red. Lately, I've been really into red lips and this is a very gorgeous red. It's kind of like a, a fire blood vibrant red, which I've really been liking those types of red, like the super in your face pop of color type of red. And I've really been digging it, so... Definitely really like that. So that is it, guys. That is it for the Maybelline haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's new at the drugstore for Maybelline. And also, I will link everything I mentioned in this video in the description box. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.